Afternoon all. Now this is a little sneak preview of a project I'm working on. And you can see the text there scrolling on the little OLED display. And that's connected uh, via an SPI 4 wire interface to a little 3.3 volt Arduino clone Pro Mini. And it's being powered by this little helicopter battery. A LiPo. Um, I suppose I should have that the right way around, really. It's a 240 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt LiPo battery. And I've soldered a couple of um, DuPont connections onto it and put it on the Arduino Pro Mini on the raw and ground pins. Not sure if that's going to be visible. But that means that the 3.7 volts is going through the LDO regulator. Um, and I was wondering, hmm, is 3.7 enough? Because uh, there's only a 0.4 volt difference between the input and the output. But that seems to be working fine. You can see uh, the text there scrolling on the little OLED display. But of course I need a method of charging that little LiPo battery. So what I've done here is I've modified one of these little TP4056 modules. Um, by changing the resistor, actually the old resistor fell off anyway. Uh, so what I've done is I've put a 10K, that's actually brown, black, orange, uh, between pin 2 and ground, the input ground. And I've also soldered a couple of the um, DuPont pins. I don't know why I'm calling them DuPont, but um, that's what they're called on eBay. So I've soldered those onto the battery positive and negative terminals and that means that um, these connections that I've put onto the LiPo battery I can now simply transfer them over to this plug it into a uh, 5 volt USB and charge that battery back up. So the idea of this project is that I'm going to make it wearable like a sort of wristwatch type arrangement. I mean you can see that the OLED display is incredibly thin if you ignore all the connectors that display is ever so thin and the same with the Arduino Pro Mini without the connector blocks that's very very thin so I could create a sandwich of those two and then of course the LiPo battery is also very very thin and there's a fourth component to this which is the data receiver and that's going to be this mini version this surface mount version of the NRF24 L01 Plus data transceiver uh, which you talk to via SPI, I believe. I haven't received this yet, but um, it's on its way. This was £2.09 from Alice, woman 1983 And that, again, is small and very, very thin. And sandwiched in amongst all this lot should make a pretty neat, wearable data unit. And I suppose what I'm thinking is that this will be a wearable display module uh, to display the parameters coming from my MPPT solar charge controller project, which um, will get going again once the weather picks up. Um, the display, I seem to have removed it from there for the moment, but that could have a transceiver on it and simply transmit um, data about uh, volts, amps, power and so forth to this little wearable data display module. That's, that's kind of the plan. And it was this little um, lithium polymer battery, this little helicopter one, 240 milliamp hours, that kind of got me into this whole lithium thing, which is why I've started doing my lithium um, videos. My collection of 18650s has uh, grown a little bit now with the uh, protected Sanyo, the pink one, and these two EFEST IMRs, these are, which are lithium manganese, so it'll be interesting uh, seeing how they perform. And I've also slightly modified my um, battery charger by sticking the board onto the uh, battery holder. So it's a little bit neater there. Now I'm going to be doing a, a video on how to drive these little OLED displays from an Arduino uh, soon. I'll get back into my displays series. But uh, just in case you're interested in these uh, LiPo batteries, listing is this one. Um, I've got two of them for £2.79, very cheap, and they were from seller 
Dell Hanway 2009. And that Arduino and the display has been running for at least half an hour now on that little 240 mAh LiPo battery. And that's not charged either. That came probably half charged. That's normally how they're supplied. So that's an hour of um, data display at least. So I think I'm just going to leave that running and uh, see how long it actually runs for off that tiny battery. <laughs>